This is water over toilet paper and today I'll be reviewing Pushpa the Race directed by Sukumar. The story is set around the red sandalwood smuggling that happens in the Tirupati and Chittur district and we follow Pushpa Raj who is part of this syndicate. He starts off as a small lorry driver and how he rises to power and what kind of obstacles he has to face and all that is the story. A big selling point of this movie is Allu Arjun and his performance. He was excellent in this movie. You believe him as Pushpa from the get go. He seems so naturally rough. You instantly believe that he is someone who lived around the forest and grew up there. He doesn't seem like a sanitized actor trying to portray a rough and tough man. All the other actors too did a pretty great job. Sunil was genuinely believable as a villain. I think people tend to believe that comedians are just f- funny people and they can't act, but selling comedy is the hardest form of acting and if someone can do it on a regular basis, of course, it's not a shock that they are good actors. And all the other villains were excellent. They all had their unique personalities and distinctive looks, unlike KGF, which I would keep comparing to throughout my review because Pushpa seems like a better KGF to me. I don't like KGF at all. I think it's a very bland movie with with just like very bland mass elevations and nothing else. But this on the other hand is also a mass movie with the big uh, elevations and with a big story with a lot of characters but they are all characters that are well written here you see him do cool shit and that's why it's an elevation scene in kgf he just stands there people around him keep boasting how cool he is and you're like oh cool i think all the best mass movies have a really distinctive protagonist who you see the entire film through and pushpa is a unique and distinctive character because you understand pushpa and that's why the elevation scenes work even more better and these elevation scenes too always have a unique spin for example the interval confrontation scene between allu arjun and sunil it's a very done to death idea for hero has a confrontation with the big villain and then it's this interval but how they shoot it and how it staged and how it's written even is fun the same goes with the action scenes they are all the same slow motion action scenes that we've all seen for a while but they always have some unique idea within them for example there's a scene where uh, with him completely covered in a mask and running around the idea behind that fight is cool he keeps twisting his head around to be get like a peak view on what's happening and then he fights and that's cool it's not genius film making but it's a simple idea executed nicely and the other big highlight for me in this movie is the music by devi sri prasad the score in this movie is excellent it really transports you to this distant forest and makes you feel like you are in that atmosphere and that's great and of course the songs were all fun they were already popular and they were all great especially the song with samantha was uh, a lot of fun it was a very very hype song people were going insane in the theater and it was a genuinely fun song and i also like the attention to detail when it comes to the dialect they all spoke the nellur chittur type accent it seemed very authentic to me i especially like the word duddu to say money and it seems to be like a recent trend in mass movies where they are becoming more and more of an anti hero and i like that uh, here he is definitely not a good person i really like that in a pivotal scene rashmika mandana goes and asks him for help and you would just expect him to be like oh of course i will help you but here he doesn't do that he's like no i don't want to do it i don't get anything from it he starts off as a gray character and he goes more and more towards the darker shades of his character which i liked and the entire setting of this movie being around this sandalwood smuggling was all cool i really like how they managed to bamboozle the police people and get the export out and finally this theme of what forms one's identity is it wh- where you are born who you are born to or what you become with that and all that were pretty interestingly explored 
I think one of the biggest negatives for this movie is the boring romance. It looked very boring even in the trailer and it continues to be boring even in the movie. Uh Samantha's character in Rangasthalam was also similar but much more interesting and pivotal to the plot. And the inclusion of Fahad Fasil's character in this movie definitely stretches the runtime. You get a sense that the movie is sort of ending, but then there's an extra 25 minutes of where they introduce Fahad Fasil's character and they have a bit of a confrontation and that sets up the next movie it all felt sort of janky and these both aspects in the second half sort of make the pace of the movie drop down considerably and there's also this random narrator that shows up whenever it's convenient he's sort of just there to fill in the gaps in a plot and there were other technical flaws in the movie and it might be because the post production of the movie seems to be rushed to get this release date and the cg of the sandwood in like a waterfall so they they looked kind of bad and also the opening animation segment looked like it's from a very unfinished game or something the other problem was they sort of established this police officer's character in the first half and they sort of forget about him and just end his character off randomly in the second half i wish they could have explored him or ended him properly Pushpa is a very entertaining movie that goes beyond your regular mass movie. It has a character that is very interesting. It has a really great performance by Allu Arjun and a really fun soundtrack. It's a really fun 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 movie and I would give it a 7 out of 10. I initially thought this is where I end the review, but then I heard some takes and opinions on this movie and I would like to address them. firstly on the topic of sexism and misogyny in this movie people believe that this movie glorifies stalking and uh, this is a very dangerous message to put out in the society firstly stalking happens in real life what and portraying that in movies doesn't make it glorification this movie is set in a village about people who lived around the forest you can't expect them to be woke and say if stalking is bad and they keep saying uh, there's a difference between portraying it and glorifying it what they mean by that is hey you can show stalking as long as there is a character in the movie that stops the movie and says you know what allu arjun you are doing a bad thing here by stalking rashmika mandana you should be ashamed of yourself and you should change then it's not glorifying it and all these people happily watch any hollywood film where they openly celebrate sexism and all that and that being the point of a movie but for some reason that doesn't apply to india because indian people are dumb and people have a problem with pushpa giving money to rashmika mandana's character for a kiss which does seem wrong but the character of pushpa is not the icon of morality in any way he's pretty gray and this is also to show that he thinks money is the key for everything which he realizes it's not by the end but all these type of nuances are all shoved away oh no he gave money for a kiss or oh, yo and there's another claim about item songs and how they should be something left in the past and things like that i personally don't like the terminology item songs it sounds a little wrong but I don't mind them being in films. They are supposed to represent a culture of bar dancing and just a party song in general. When white people do it in their pop songs, it's like, "Oh, it's just a party banger, bro." But when it's the same thing done in India, it's like, "Oh no, they're objectifying the women." Cha, can't take it. And they also said, "Oh, how can a big actress like Samantha accept this? It's so beneath her." Aren't work people supposed to be about everyone is equal and all jobs are equal? So they do believe that bar dancers are supposed to be lower than normal jobs, which kind of fucking defeats your own point, doesn't it? And there were people who were criticizing the movie on the pacing in the second half and stuff like that, which I agree also. Thanks for watching this review. You can like this video, share this video, and subscribe to this channel. You can watch our Spider-Man review by clicking on the left, and you can watch our other reviews by clicking on the right.